that off. Long way to go, three and a half miles in the Quinbet Grand National Trial Handicap Chase. 20 fences to jump as Captain Kangaroo and Stones and Roses, the stable companions. Racing on by three lengths to Champagne Platinum. First of the greys on the outside of the top weight, Deal Kerr. Notice the close a little wayward going over that crossing. Port Storm almost toppled over at the bag as they climb uphill to fence number two. Captain Kangaroo, the leader from Stones and Roses, notice the close. Deal Kerr, Cocoa Beach, the white cap with Champagne Platinum. And then Debt Duty, who's bidding to repeat last year's win. The Mayor Angel's Dawn next with What's Not to Know as they make the downhill run to fences three and four. Couple off them at the back of the field in these early stages, Milan Native and Port Storm. Captain Kangaroo, the leader from Stones and Roses, noticed to close Coco Beach and D Deal Kerr. And Deffy Blur, Champagne Platinum on the inside is Dead Duty as they link up at fence number three. On now to the first of four ditches. Captain Kangaroo by a length and a half to two lengths over Stones and Roses. Notice to close Cocoa Beach. Good jump by Deffy Blur. And then Deal Kerr. Dead Duty and Champagne Platinum racing together and then Angel's Dawn and What's Not to Know. Gap then of at least three lengths to the final couple. Milan Native and Port Storm. Heading down the back to fences five, six, and seven. It's Captain Kangaroo and Jack Foley. Landing with an advantage of just half a length as notice to close. Races up on terms for JJ Slevin. Losing a place to third stones and roses, Paul Townend. Followed by Coco Beach and Ben Harvey. Next is Deffy Blur. Sam Ewing, and on the inside, Dead Duty, Michael O'Sullivan. That's the first half of the field. As they make the run out of the back straight, just one more before doing so. Their second ditch, which is number seven. Captain Kangaroo, Stones and Roses, has just wrestled back the second from notice to close, then Coco Beach, and Deffy Blur, and Deal Curd, and Champagne Platinum, Dead Duty, and Angels Dawn, and Milan Native. Wants not to know, and Port Storm remains last of the dozen runner field who make the run along the side to fences eight and nine with Captain Kangaroo leading narrowly. Notice to close and Stones and Roses, the three abreast, landing a couple of lengths in front of Coco Beach, and then Deffy Blur on the inside, Dead Duty with Champagne Platinum next, and then Deal Kerr has been shuffled back to mid division. Just failed in the Paddy Par. The fence on the approach to the straight, which is number nine. Captain Kangaroo from notice to close. Back into second place, then Stones and Roses, tracked by Coco Beach, and then Debt Duty, who's having a good run of the race. Next is Deffy Blur, Champagne Platinum and Deal Kerr. Angels Dawn round the bend for fence number 10, bringing them past the point at which they started. Nearing the halfway stage very soon. Captain Kangaroo and notice to close. Shift on a couple of lengths in front of Stones and Roses. Coco Beach next with Debt Duty. Deal Kurt Deffy, Blur and Angels Dawn and Milan Native Champagne Platinum is two behind. What's not to know and Port Storm. Circuit in front of them. Ten more fences left to jump as they pass the halfway stage. And the Quinbet Grand National Trial. Matching strides, Captain Kangaroo and notice to close. Two and a half in front, going to fence 11 from Stones and Roses, then Coco Beach on the inside of Debt Duty. Who's changed course to the outer. Then Deffy Blur and Deal Curd and Champagne Platinum. An awkward jump by Captain Kangaroo and lost two positions as a result. Handing the lead to notice to close from Stones and Roses. Captain Kangaroo now in third. Debt duties on the outside and improving. Then Coco Beach in between horses, Deffy Blur. And then Deal Kerr, Champagne Platinum and Angels Dawn. And what's not to know, Milan Native and Port Storm. Racing downhill with eight fences left to jump. And Captain Kangaroo's gone back up on the inside to rejoin 
notice to close, attended by stones and roses. After them is Debt Judy and Cocoa Beach the Grey. On the inside is Deal Kerr with Deffy Blur and Champagne Platinum. Beaten into second 12 months ago, Angel's Dawn and What's Not to Know. On now to the next two fences. Captain Kangaroo has paid the ultimate there. Departs the race, Jack Foley's quickly got to his feet. The second last ditch. Notice to close, Stones and Roses lands in the lead. Then Coco Beach, Debt Duty next. On the inside is Deal Kerr with Deffy Blur and Champagne Platinum and Angel's Dawn and What's Not to Know. Port Storm relegates Milan Native to be the back marker as they race down the far side, six fences left to jump. Stones and Roses up there in front throughout. Leads half a length, notice to close. Coco Beach is closing. Slow jump by Deal Kerr, who was just starting to creep into contention. Knock back to the back as Stones and Roses and notice to close are followed by Coco Beach. Dead Judy in fourth. Then comes Deffy Blur. Angel's Dawn is moving up. Then what's not to know who's closing ahead of Champagne Platinum? Last fence on the far side will be the final ditch. And four from the finish. Notice to close from Coco Beach, who jumped up on terms. Stones and Roses still right with them on the outside. Cutting through the field is what's not to know. Then Debt Duty, followed by Deffy Blondeel, Kurt and Port Storm, racing onto the heels of the leaders with Champagne Platinum and cracking at the back is Milan Native, turning with three fences left to jump in the Quinbet Grand National Trial. Stones and Roses on the outside of Coco Beach, tracked by What's Not To Know and Angel's Dawn. Behind them is Debt Judy, who made a mistake as they head for the second last. Stones and Roses by a length, and second is Coco Beach. Angel's Dawn is closing steadily in third. What's Not To Know now shaken up in fourth. They're followed by Port Storm, with in between horses, Dead Judy and Deffy Blunt and Champagne Platinum dropping out of Angel's Dawn as parted company there with Keen Quirk, who was just racing onto the heels of the leaders. Keen Quirk has got to his feet, and it's Coco Beach who leads on the home turn from Stones and Roses, kicking away from Port Storm, followed by Deffy Blunt, Champagne Platinum. Not this year for Dead Judy, and then What's Not To Know. No. One fence left to jump and out in front is Coco Beach and Ben Harvey from Stones and Roses. Five six legs between them. Over the last goes Coco Beach with the Quinbet Grand National Trial safely in the bag it would appear as Coco Beach and Ben Harvey are six in front. Coming again is Dead Judy but it's Coco Beach mastering another Grand National Trial for trainer Gordon Elliott ridden by Ben Harvey with Dead Judy filling the second from on the near side was Deffy Blur. Joined now by jockey Ben Harvey, who's just partnered his biggest winner today in the Quinbeck Grand National Trial here at Punchestown on Cocoa Beach. Ben, congratulations. Great day for you. I'm sure you were thrilled to get the ride on the horse once again today after a really good run in the Thiesse days. How chuffed overall by that? Yeah, I was delighted to see my name next to him. I got such a great spin off in the Thiesse days. And he ran a huge race that day and, you know, he came here with a great chance. So, uh, yeah, I really I couldn't wait to, to ride him again. Tell us how the race went from your point of view. Played a little bit differently tactically today, didn't it? We rode him different today. We thought just to make sure he got the trip, we, we sat in. And he's jumping so good that you're filling him up between fences. And he seems to like being ridden like that. You're able to just sit against him. And his jumping is, is electric now. It's, it's a real joy to ride. You were chasing him along going into the home turn. Were you always kind of happy he was going to keep finding for you from there? Yeah, I thought coming to the second last, I, I had plenty of hours under me. And he winged it, so I said I'd just let him roll off the bend. And... He put the race to bed very quickly and a big jump at the last as well, jumped like a fresh horse. So, yeah, nice nice to get it. I'm sure when you turned conditional, these were the exactly the sort of big rides that you were hoping to come in for. It's a big vote of confidence in you, I think, from the likes of Gordon Elliott and Jiggins yeah, yeah, look, I can't thank Gordon and the team at Jiggins enough for, for putting me up. And, yeah, it makes my life a lot easier when you get on these good horses. I know you're still based with John McConnell. Are you going into Gordon Elliott at all these days? Yeah, I'm in Gordon's once a week, so it's, uh, it's a great place to be in, to be in and uh, getting plenty of opportunities out of it. So can't thank him enough. Things going really well. You've got one ride left to come today, Ben. Just give us a word on that one, Riggs. Yeah, for John. one for John McConnell. Um, he had some nice form in England. He was rated in the 130s, and he's come down a bit now over here, but it's his first run in a while, so 
look, hopefully, if he puts puts his best foot forward, he should have a chance. But um, I think he'll improve for it. Looking a little bit further ahead, Cheltenham Festival is on the horizon. I'm sure, at the very least, you'll be hoping to be involved in the Martin Pipe race over there. Be hoping to pick up a few rides, maybe for John as well. Yeah, well, there's the horses I won on said, and I've won two on him, so he'll go for either the Carl Cup or the the Plate. So. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting on him and hopefully I can pick up a few more. Exciting times. Ben, well done today. To love you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.